West Texans are celebrating the biggest single day rain event since July of last year. But even this amount of water won't be enough to replenish a parched West Texas. We find ourselves in about the fourth year of the drought and uh, here we are with not a lot of relief from the drought. Uh, today, we welcome some of the, the rain that we've had, but that does not end the drought. Meteorologist Stephen Cobb of the National Weather Service says, we didn't get into the drought overnight, so we can't expect it to go away that fast. We would need many, many more of these events uh, to even really make a huge impact or much of an impact into the long-term drought. This drought category we're in right now is the highest drought category possible. The U.S. Drought Monitor puts much of the South Plains under exceptional or extreme drought, and the long-term drought outlook predicts all of West Texas will see the drought persist or intensify through August. With the drought still intact, water conservation remains crucial. It's affecting more and more people, and the water uh, resources, the demand on that water is also uh, continues to increase. Uh, so like you said, we need to be more mindful of how we use that resource uh, day in and day out. Knowing that it, you know, during the summer we have high water consumption and typically that high consumption is tied to irrigating. Lubbock continues strict water restrictions, urging residents to limit that irrigation. It's just uh, prudent for us to conserve the water. Uh, that we have during the summer months, particularly when we usually use the most water. Cobb says there needs to be at least 18 to 30 inches of rainfall to get out of this drought. Caitlin Napoleone, Fox 34 News at 9.